What if I told you you can make Korean barbecue short ribs at home without a barbecue? Hey guys, it's Zung, and today I'm partnering with Instant Brands to share the latest from the Instant Pot family, the Instant Pot Dual Crisp and Air Fryer. I'm gonna show how to make a delicious marinade for the LA Calbee or the Korean barbecue short ribs, and then we're gonna work some magic in the kitchen. So here I have my short ribs. I have about two and a half pounds here and we're gonna marinate it with some deliciousness. I have half an onion here that I'm gonna chop into large chunks. We're gonna be blending this anyways so it doesn't have to be exact. Just a nice rough chop so it blends evenly. And then for the sweetness, meat tenderizer factor, I'm gonna be using an apple. Now typically you would be using a Korean pear or a kiwi for the meat tenderizer or that sweetness um, addition to the marinade. However, I wanted to use an apple because it's a lot more accessible. You can use Fuji apple, Red Delicious. This one is an heirloom apple that's really good. So we just need half of it. Make sure that the core is removed. Cut it into chunks, and then I'm just gonna throw it in there too. Then we have some garlic cloves. Garlic really adds a lot of flavor and just that signature Korean flavor. So I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six pretty large size garlic cloves. And then we have some ginger. So I'm using a piece of ginger about the size of my thumb, so that's the size that you should be looking for as well. Okay, now that we have all the vegetables prepped, let's go ahead and blend the marinade together. So I'm using the Instant Pot Ace Plus blender here, and to the glass pitcher, I'm gonna add our apples and onions, the garlic, our ginger, some green onions. Just like to break it in half right like that. And then for the seasonings, we're gonna use everything that you probably already have in your pantry, like sesame oil, and if you don't, these are must-haves in any Asian pantry. Some brown sugar, mirin, which is cooking sake, gives it a nice rounded flavor. Some salt, I like to use kosher salt, and soy sauce. If you guys want the exact measurements, I'll leave it in the description box below. That's everything, now we just blend her up. I'll just pulse it for about a minute until it's nice and blended. All right, that looks good. All right, it's nice and smooth, perfectly blended. This blender is really cool. We can talk more about it in a different video, but basically you can make hot soups in here. Amazing. All right, so I have my short ribs, my marinade. What I like to do in the container that I'm gonna marinate in is pour a little bit of our sauce at the bottom. Make sure it's nice and coated. That way the bottom short ribs get a little bit of love. Get our short ribs. Mine are pretty thick cut, so I'm gonna have to marinate this for at least six hours to overnight. Just make sure that it's completely covered at the bottom. Pour a little more on top. So this two and a half pounds is good enough for our family of four, but if you guys are planning to make this for um, more people, if you have a bigger family, just go ahead and double the recipe. And then just submerge everything underneath the marinade. I like to give it a little bit of a shake just to even everything out. And then with any piece that's left over that's not, just make sure you cover it. Cap it off. And then we'll just let it bathe in this delicious, savory, sweet sauce for a night. So this is the Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Air Fryer. It's the ultimate space saving machine and the best of both worlds because it includes your Instant Pot pressure cooker along with an air fryer lid. It has 11 in one functionality. It does everything a regular Instant Pot does. All you have to do is swap out the pressure cooker lid after you've pressure cooked and put on the air frying lid To air fry. So let me show you guys the accessories that come with it. You get the eight quart inner pot, stainless steel. You also get a brand new trivet, which is super cool. Typically the trivet just goes like this and you put it in and the legs used to be a little short for me, but now you can fold it like this and it stands up 
way tall fits right in it's perfect for steaming and doing like those two-in-one things but for the air fryer you have you have the air fryer basket base the air fryer basket and then a nifty and then a nifty broiler and dehydrating tray so this really does everything you want it to all with the touch of a button. So from sauteing to pressure cooking to air frying, it's as simple as picking your technique and cleanup is a breeze too. All the sleek surfaces are easy to wipe clean and these accessories are all dishwasher safe. All right, so now let's show you guys what this baby can do with our short ribs. So let's go ahead and work some magic. I'm gonna start by pressure cooking the short ribs in the inner pot. I'm just gonna empty all the components, including the marinade. And just because there's quite a bit of sugar in the marinade, I'm gonna add about half a cup of water so that the bottom doesn't burn. And it also helps everything come to pressure. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the pressure lid on. And then we're just gonna set it on pressure cook for two minutes. This way it'll help tenderize the meat and just make it really soft. But not too soft that it's falling off the bone, just and then with this model, I actually have to press start. So we'll do that and just let it do its thing. So once it's all done and have come up to pressure, the L countdown comes up, I just need to press the steam release valve to let it release all the steam. All right, so we're gonna open the lid. Wow, that looks awesome. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so I finished pressure cooking, but we're not done yet. I'm gonna remove the short ribs and place them into our multi-level air frying basket. So instead of just laying everything down flat, I'm wrapping them around each other to give them room to crisp up as we air fry. So now I'm gonna remove the inner pot and with the leftover marinade, do not toss it out. Just add it to a saucepan and reduce it down. It'll make a great sauce over your rice with the kalbi, but I'm gonna transfer it out for now. So now I've washed and dried my inner pot completely because we are gonna air fry. So pressure cooking and air frying both helps you save time and you can cook healthier meals. This has all of the fat drained down while air frying with the air fryer lid, roasting and broiling this produces amazing results. So I'm gonna put my air fryer lid on. Okay, you just have to like place it on, no need to twist or anything. And then I'll just hit the air fryer button, set it for eight minutes, and then press start. I always like to check on it halfway through to make sure it's crisping up nicely and turn the meat if I need to. Ooh, okay. It looks like it's browning nicely. I just have to place my air fryer lid on the protection pad. It's looking really good. Just a little more to go. Get nice and brown. All right, it's done. Oh! Look at the browning of the short ribs. And what I love about this is that you don't have all the fat just on there. It has dripped down because you air fried it. And then because we pressure cooked the meat, it's soft and tender. Simply delicious. All right, so this is done. Let me show you how I would prepare our Korean barbecue at home. So here is our Korean barbecue spread for the kalbi or the Korean barbecue short ribs. What we like to do is sprinkle some roasted sesame seeds right on top. Just kind of sprinkle it all on there and then dress the tray up with some slivered green onions. This way it has those beautiful colors and then it just gives it a nice pop of freshness. So Korean barbecue is something that our family used to do quite often for big celebrations. We had Erisi's 100 day celebration and we also had her first birthday celebration where we just did like this massive Korean barbecue outside. Because this year's a little different and because it's the holidays and it's cold outside, having the Instant Pot Duo Crisp air fryer is a dream because now we can enjoy 
Korean barbecue at home like this. Okay, so for this spread, I have my panchans. I have the quick pickled cucumber oi kimchi. The recipe is in my cookbook. We have kimchi, which I just bought at the Korean market. The reduced marinade. Nate, this is a must have for Nate. He eats it with his rice, which is really tasty actually. It just flavors everything. And then of course you have your rice. What's really essential to Korean barbecue are these kitchen shears <laughs> as well because they help you cut it up really small so everybody just enjoys it. Now I wanna show you guys the final end piece of the kalbi. Look at the inside, it's beautifully cooked. It's not too greasy, it's cooked through but not too much so that it's falling off the bone. The tendon is just hanging on in there and then the fat Piece, because this one was fairly marbled, um, most of the fat dripped down when we air fried it. So it's nice and healthy. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. You know how sometimes grilling makes it kind of just tough and chewy? I don't get that with this at all. Mm. The meat is tender, and then because we air fried it and crisped up the outside piece, it's got that beautiful, like, crispiness to it and char. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this Korean barbecue at home, and hit the like button if you think the Instant Pot Dual Crisp Air Fryer is for you. You can find it nationwide at Amazon, Target, Walmart, and instantbrands.com. The Instant Pot Dual Crisp and Air Fryer is the pot for you if you're looking for speed, versatility, and space saving that does it all. The Instant Pot pressure cooks, sautés, slow cooks, steams, the whole nine yards, and then the air fryer lid also air fries, roasts, bakes, broils, and dehydrates. It's the machine that does it all. I hope you guys found some inspiration to make one of your favorite meals this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!